Club restaurant, Virginia Beach. I perhaps and I travel. Hey, perhaps I can. Perhaps Corey, you know, 5150 Corey Holcomb. Maybe they'll show up at the Funny Bone while I'm here. Well, 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 I, look, I'll be in St. Louis. I'll be in here. Maybe between. I'll, hopefully, I'll catch up with Corey. I got the. Come on, you know. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. No, ADOS, you know, we're all over the place. We're all stratus, you know. I know we have a little political thing going, and that's that's what that's what we're about, right? But then we got some other people on some other levels, you know. And, uh, I've been listening to Corey for a long time, and he gets more and more. He's, he says the exact same things that's being said, but he said, like, um, you know, the, well, the 5150 way. Anyway. Smoothie. This is, I'm telling you, man. What do you call the what do we call the 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 the, the whatever you call those people, uh, the boomers? Man, they got some money. I mean, I'm, they, I'm, a, I'm a boomer, but this is like my sister stuff. See, I don't have to live. I'm like an outlier, outlier. I'm a boomer, but I'm a boomer outlier. I'm a boomer's outlier, outlier. That's only because in my family, like here we go, the so-called criminal genes went to my younger brother, right? The vagabond genes, you know, or the, the whatever, whatever Gregory is, went to my older brother, right? My twin sisters, you know, they had they had to experience something else. It's like tragic. And then my younger sister got all the materialistic genes. <laughs> and she knows this. Anyway, it's a call. I think it's called a ninja blender. Mm, I'm telling you, they got stuff going on here. But I made my smoothie this morning. Of course we got. Now how do I how do I do it? Okay, great. Oh, I, oh got coconut milk. Non-GMO, non-GMO coconut milk you mix. Then you put the powder in. So I got uh, I got some. Did I put the green powder in? Yeah, some green powder in. And then what else did I put in? What did I put? The, no, I put the chocolate powder. It doesn't matter. The powder they got all that nutrients and stuff like that in. And then uh, and so you and I put some, oh, and the chia seeds, right? And then you mix that for. And then I put in the, um, they, they get the frozen fruit in the, in the bags, you know what I mean? Like, so they have a pineapple one, a mango one, so I put the pineapple one in this time. And what else I put? Oh, I put that, 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 that whatever, that vitamin, I don't know, I put something else in it. And uh, what else? Oh, they also had some pure, some um, yogurt kind of thing, but the real yogurt, I put a couple of those in it. Oh, I put ice in. You're not supposed to use ice with the blades or whatever have you, but I think this is a ninja thing, so it takes the crush of the ice. Cause it's hot here. Oh man, it's over 100. It's hot. I'm inside now cause it's hot. Anyway, so I put that in there. I forget, oh, uh, banana, oh, banana, of course. I always put banana in because that's the potassium, you know. Anyway. But let me not talk about that. So good, oh, it's cold. Okay, I'm sorry. Look, I, I, look, since we're starting over again, or starting at this location, let me, let me do my name. Let me do my name because it's sort of important. Um. Uh, my name is um, my name is Anthony John Sloan. And when I was born, my well, my mother wanted to name me Antonitis. You know, I think there's some Roman general, poet general, blah blah blah. As it turns out, I did poetry. Doesn't matter. Well, my grandma said, "This is just, you know, this is like the Bronx. You know, like this boy going to have enough trouble." So his name is Anthony. So she just mixed that. And of course, my last name Sloan. Anyway, Anthony means incomparable. Sloan means warrior. For the longest time, I I knew this. Well, I, I like both names, but later on I found out what they meant. But I hated my middle name, John. I, I just did not like John, the middle name. You know, like, like Trump's middle name is John. Just hated it. Until I found out something. I don't know how many years ago I found this out. But that must have been after I come back from sitting out. John, in slave law. I mean, I'm not talking about um, what they got um, um, um John, the, the, you know, the railroad John, you know, John Henry, you know, that's, that's something else. In fact, did you know that The Rock is on deal to play John Henry? I have no feelings on that way. I hope he does a good job. Anyway, 
course people are gonna do the colored thing and blah 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 blah. But let's see what they because rock is part black, right? So anyway, it doesn't matter. Anyway, John, now here in folk in um in slave law, what John is, he's the he's the slave that can read and write and all the rest of it, and it's, it's assistant to the master. So the master might send him to town, you know, and so like he might, I don't know, do something like run a, just make this up, run a red light, and then say, well, didn't you see that red light? He said, well, uh, I can't, I don't know, but, uh, my man, you know, that whole thing, you know. So he, he, he'd be like, he'd be perpetrating the fraud when he needs to perpetrate a fraud and then doing other things. But meanwhile, he's taking care of all the master's business. The master ain't saying nothing because things are being done, you see what I'm saying? So I said, ooh, that's interesting. I think I like John. Now, you might say, what's, what, you know, what, what's that have to do with anything? I think of John as the ultimate spy, double agent, if you will. Okay? Since I brought a movie, uh, brought John Henry, let, let me let me do it this way. Mm, two movies. Let me say two movies that do controversies that people do, didn't like. Let's do Black Panther first. Now, people identify all kinds of things. Like, ah, I'm Killmonger, I'm blah, 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 blah. Me, Nakia. Nakia. When we first meet Nakia, she's on a mission, she's doing her thing, and she gets interrupted by this, you know, blah, 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 you know, daddy dies, or oh, ex love, okay, fine, I go deal with you. So she goes to see what's going on, blah, 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 blah. Then all, this, all, all the palace intrigue happens, right? And when push comes to shove, who's the one that saves him ultimately? Well, she, she's thinking real quick because remember, she's a spy. She's been out in the world. She has other da 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 da. And so she's the one that gets the flower and, you know, brings it to the end. And, and, you see what I'm saying? And then, so she basically saves them all, right? And she's the one that has the plan. Or, you know what I'm saying? And she's the one, you know, remember, Killmonger, idiot that he is, you know, I'd rather die than the ding 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 ding, which is not really. It. It's not really pure. I guess that's because of his, I don't know. What is his, I don't know. He's a trained assassin. Everybody said, think that the white guy is the, is the, is the, is the you know, we shouldn't have the CIA guy. Well, remember, Killmonger's CIA's puppet. They, they, they trained him to, uh, to just kill. Kill, 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 kill. You know what I mean? No strategy, strategy, strategy. His strategy was like, hey, burn all these things. Nobody else can do what I do. That's a pure European or well, Anglo racist white supremacy. So he'd been totally co-opted. His whatever African genes or whatever ADOS genes he had was just, you know, one, you understand what I'm saying? So I don't know what y'all doing, kid, but have, have a, so what? And so meanwhile, you know, the kids whispering, the king said, "Hey, you should do this, that, and that." And what happens is, she's the one that makes sure that the stuff goes through. So hey, that's a double agent. That's a John. Okay, let's go to. Django Unchained. Mm. Oh, one more thing, Black Panther. Remember, Black Panther is still written by black people. Okay, so eight US people. Let me go back to them. Let me go to and, um, Django. I enjoy Django Unchained. I really like Django Unchained. But there's one thing that was missing. And of course, uh, uh, Anglo racist white supremacist is the only person that can, that can do this whole thing and everybody just loved the movie and they missed this little part. Remember, um, you know, well, Samuel Jackson's character, you know, uh, you know the cat, you know, I'm gonna call him John. He, I know his name is something else, Stephen. I mean that. But he's like the John character, right? Stephen is. Now check it out. When he comes, when when, when Stephen first sees this guy coming, what is his whole thing? His whole thing is like I'm talking about. I'm talking about it getting in Stephen's brain. He's like, man, this guy is coming. He's gonna mess things up. He don't know the ultimate plan. He gonna mess things up. And then, sure enough, he had to try to get rid of him. Boom, 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 boom. Having a good time trying to get rid of them too. I hear there's some scenes cut out that was like really oh, torture, torture, torture. <laughs> and so the things happened that I don't And I had to do, I don't, you must have seen this part. At the end, when, uh, you know, the two gun guy or whatever, you know, the gun guy that was trained, tra trained by, trained as an assassin by the European, you get, you follow me on this, right? See the parallels, you know? Okay. When he finally gets uh, Stephen alone and he shoot and he's ready to shoot him, what does Stephen do? He comes out, he stands up straight, and he dies with dignity because that was his character all the time. If I'm not saying if I was yeah if I was writing it, Django wouldn't have killed him. As soon as he stood up, Django said, "Whoa, something's happening here." Hey, brother, I thought you was like no, and Stephen said, "You don't understand." 
I run this place. I keep everybody safe. I make sure blah, 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 blah. I make sure blah, 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 blah. Now that you kill this idiot, you know what I mean? What you gonna do? You gonna, you gonna burn down the place? What you need to do is leave us be. I got the plan. They can't do without me. I know where everything is hidden, da, 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 da. In fact, if you want to kill me, I'll sacrifice. I'll tell you how to get every. You understand? I'm, I'm something else. But instead, he gets blown away. Why? Because a white guy wrote the character. <laughs> oh, didn't think about that. Okay. You say, well, that's definitely what's not going to happen. Hey, did you ever see my, one of my favorite films on the planet, Mandalay? You know, by Lars von Trier. Basically, Danny Glover plays that Stephen character after the slave master or whatever is dead. You know what I'm saying? So he was running that thing. Um, I won't spoil it for you. See Mandalay. So, so what I'm trying to say is that, look, you can't, well, you can. You can call people names all you want. You can label them all you want. You can contain them all you want. But you don't know what their ultimate thing is. They say, well, how do you, well, 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 Clarence Thomas is whoever. I don't care. It's not your job to be sniping on somebody else. You don't know what the ultimate plan is. You don't know what, what conversion, what, what what's that road to Damascus thing, whatever that. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't. You don't know the future. Are you, I don't want to say, are you God, you got a bunch of uh, Israel, Hebrews, or Moses, somebody's going to say, yes, we are, whatever. So, and all I'm saying is that you should know thyself and know your true nature. Now, I'm lucky enough to know everything that's going on. People have, oh, I'm going to tell you, people all, they criticize me all the time for a whole bunch of things. Most people think I'm crazy, which I am. You have to be crazy to continue to exist in this system and not have a plan for this system. And your plan can be, your plan can be followed by someone else. That's your follow, that's fine. But there's a few of us who are navigating or doing stuff, you know? We don't need you, in fact, Here's what's good about the Nakias and the and the um, and the Stevens, you know, and the John. Well, not John Henry dies because he's working for the man, you know. Is that we? You don't know we're coming. You don't know what our thing is, and you can't you can't understand what our thing is. So leave us alone. There's got to be a few of us going through, going through, going through. Leave us be. You want to keep on? You want to snipe and make make jokes about this and that? Go ahead. But the reality is, you don't know. And what you don't know, you don't know. That's just a message, tiny message, because I had to talk about my name, starting the series off. Anyway, that's how it was. I saw a short message from me, T, from the Pattersons taking the train to the bed, letting you know what I own. Oh, what I own suspect. Oh, wait, wait, wait. From ADES of the eight DOS, that would be the North American descendants of chattel slavery. <gasps> As I said, American, hey, don't look at this. Ooh. You know I got, I'm sorry, I'm, <laughs> I have to go a little bit long. You know I got this flag? There's, I'm down in Virginia, there are so many American flags, man. I've been talking to these Trump supporters. Funny, oh man. And anyway, so I picked this up on the road, so I just put it on my set because, you know, because I did. I know a lot of y'all don't understand what's going on, but don't worry about it. Um, I'll talk to you about these Trump supporters another time. So I said, Nick T from that city. Then you understand. Uh, All right, take the phone. Oh, I knocked out. Well, let me just turn this off and that would be all right. Sorry. Fax machine.